This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2006 Ford F-250 Crew Cab short bed. It's a 6 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather, and it's the FX4 off-road suspension package. Uh, and this truck has 169,270 miles on it. It's on a clear title. Uh, it was purchased for, directly from an insurance company in Phoenix. Uh, we got it here. We do our two-hour inspection, which looks like this. Okay. I wear this glove because the oil cap can be hot. We've had it running for a while. We always let it run before we do a video. And uh, I don't feel like burning my little fingers. Uh, it's about 102, monsoon's about to start. And the weather really sucks. Humidity's up, temperature's 102. <sighs> anyway, enough bitching. Uh, let's see. We bring them here, we do the inspection, and then I got my little cheat sheets here. Uh, we did rear brake pads, uh, rear shocks, steering stabilizer, a battery is new. Both side mirrors are new. Um, outside driver door handle they broke when they stole it. And the ignition they broke, so that's been replaced. Wiper blades are new. And you'll see in the before pictures, there's four pictures of it before it left Phoenix. It was on a bunch of spares and stuff. Obviously, they stole the wheels on it. It's got uh, a brand new set of tires and a very nice set of used King Ranch wheels. You'll recognize those from King Ranches that we had. Uh, looks really good. Um, I'm going to walk around, I'm going to show you what's going on with this thing, talk about it. Uh, I'll point at stuff that you should uh, click on uh, visually uh, in the gallery. My brother's going to take this thing out for uh, eh, probably 60 to 80 HD pictures. And in that gallery you see a little magnifying glass where you can click on it and it'll allow you to, uh, to uh, zoom in. It's got this typical peeling chrome on the grill. You can buy an aftermarket grill for these for like 60 bucks. I think it'll look cooler than the Ford. Um, the Ford ones, they want like 200 and something dollars. It's ridiculous. Um, little touch up done here on these scrapes. Uh, I think there's a couple on the upper passenger door that don't look nearly as severe as that, but I will show you. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's really a light one. It wasn't even to the bone, but see that? when you step about that far away, it starts to make less difference. There's this. Uh, obviously, it's a truck, uh, which means it matters quite a bit less. The uh, paint and looks. People generally aren't buying trucks that are used because they are pretty, but uh, it still is my job to make sure that you know what you're going to buy and uh, what you're paying for and get what you are paying for, right? Uh, just in case <laughs> somebody does care about how they look. Uh, there is more than enough resources in these ads to see everything there is cosmetically. Uh, part of the purpose of these videos is not to necessarily sell the vehicle. There's like some sort of stain right here. Not necessarily to sell the vehicle. It's more really to inform people of what it is and then the right person will buy it. This thing will sell quickly, like they all do that we have. And we know what they're gonna sell for because they all, we have so many examples of this exact truck and theft recoveries, clear title, etc. that we know. Um, there's a little crack right here in the tail light, I just noticed. Um, couple little touch-ups right here, but uh, Anyway, the, the, the goal of this video is to, is to make sure that the right person buys the truck and they know what they're buying and they get as much information as they can to make a good decision. That way they're happy and they talk good about us and the world is right. If we BS and make crap up like everyone else does, then we end up in a problem. And that doesn't happen because we don't do that. Um, if a vehicle has a problem, we will tell you, and the right person to deal with that problem will buy it. Let's see. All then. 169,276 miles. All right. Kelly Blue Book on it, just so you know. There's the mileage on it. Lariat, it's 169. 18,201 is the suggested retail price. There's the equipment on it. That'll be in our ad also, so you don't have to just freeze the picture, but I show you that in the video also. There's the VIN, there's that, reported stolen. 
very boring Carfax, really. And that's it. Boom. Let's see, it was a Hanover insurance truck. There's the miles, there's no brands in there. If it was a salvage, it would say salvage right next to it typed in, it doesn't, because it's a clear title. And there's our current title. This will be in the ad also, you can click on it to see it. There you go. All right, I'm gonna open up the, uh, the hood. I'm gonna take off the uh, oil cap. We're gonna look for blow-by, uh, which would be smoke. Uh, most trucks, most 6.0s, the 160,000 have some. But we will see how much. And that is hot. And that is none. That's great. That is very good. That's uh, excellent. That would indicate that somebody took good care of it. All right. There's your Ford stamp there. New battery here. Stickers where they belong. Let's see. Should be another Ford stamp right there. Should be another one right here. And this battery's due, so we changed both batteries. Um, all those Ford stamps just basically I show people that because if there was ever any crash damage in the front end, they don't replace them with Ford parts. They get the uh, aftermarket crap and they don't have Ford stamps on them. So that would tell you about 97% sure that this thing hasn't been wrecked in the front end because nobody replaces those parts with uh, Ford parts. Way too expensive. So when you see those Ford stamps, sort of like Toyota stamps in the fenders or anyone else's stamps, then you have a pretty good shot that they're gonna be original. All right, seat's in good shape. Ba -ba. All right, seat forward, back, up, down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down, perfect. Make sure there's no secrets under the mat. Nothing. Nice truck. There's a little peeling uh, uh, tint. We tell our detail shop to leave that on there. Some people don't care and they don't want to, you know, retint their windows and they're okay with that. So we just left it on. Little, little bit of wear right there. But that's just in the dye. It's not gonna become a hole anytime soon. Window, window, window. Window, door locks, door locks, there you go. Let's see, what else? Uh, mirrors, brand new mirrors, they should work fine and they do. Up and down, other side, out, in, up, down, perfect. Back, forward, up. Down, tilt up, down, rear seat down, and up. We did a, this thing had a tear here obviously from about, looks like about right here to here. Our mobile repair guy came in and filled it. You can see that. Let's see, let me get these papers out of the way. Make sure there's no secrets under here. Every now and then you'll see a big hole from somebody's shoe or boot or whatever. There's nothing there. All right, we got uh, power pedals up and down. There you go. Um, let's see, what else we got going on here? Let me get in. Oh, that air is nice. It is freaking warm. So we got monsoon coming over the Catalina Mountains right there. It's a little early for that. Let's see if I can get the seatbelt on here. It's also windy, so I've got my earbuds in on a wire, which makes this even more difficult to do. All right, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Moonroof. Back. 
forward. There you go. Boom. All right, rear window, power sliding window. Boom, boom. There you go. Let's see, radio. Let's try the steering controls. All right, radio works fine. Six disc changer, manual controls on the air. That works fine. Let's try them on the steering column. That's from the steering. I'm turning it up because it's freaking warm. All right, you got cruise control here. You got tow on and off. Let's see. Let's do a systems check here. There we go. All right, I'm going to put it in neutral. I'm going to go to four low. Now we're in four low. Drive. And reverse in four low. Perfect. All right, and then I'm going to go to neutral. I'm going to go back to four wheel drive. High. Now we went from four low to four high. Drive. Reverse. Boom. All right. And back to two-wheel drive. All right, let's go for a drive. All right. Nice truck. New set of tires. If you come to Tucson and drive at home, which you're welcome to do, obviously, um, you will pay tax and dock fees. Dock fee is $250. Tax is 2% city tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 5 you'll pay 7 Very simple. If you come here, add 2% to your state and add a $250 dock fee. That's what you're paying. Um, if you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price, and that's it. Uh, once we receive your wire, we'll fill in the title with your name or company's name and address. Uh, we'll scan it in your online file, and we'll uh, uh, mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, so you'll be able to see everything immediately. Um, obviously, the title will probably beat the truck to you in the mail. Um, once you get it shipped to your house, the truck, the, you'll take the title you already have, and you'll go to Motor Vehicles and deal with that yourself. That's if you're going to pay by wire and ship. Um, deposit is $500. Once you receive a deposit, we'll put your name and a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know what's yours. Until then, it is for sale. Um, please get your deposit in quickly. Uh, nice, clean uh, lariats like this do not grow on trees. Last part of my speech is the warranty speech. There is none. This is a 160,000, 169,000 mile. 10 year old truck it's out of warranty by ford standards their warranty ended many years ago and many miles ago their guys couldn't give it a 20 year 250,000 miles warranty because they didn't know what would happen after x amount of miles or x amount of years that's why they ended if they knew it would be fine uh, after 20 mile 20,000 miles or 25 years then they would have given it that warranty right and it would have been a great selling point the reason they can't is they don't know we don't know more than the people who built this truck. We know an awful lot, like a ton, about 6.0s. Like, I would say we're experts. Uh, we probably know as much as they know, almost. But we didn't give birth to it like they did, okay? So, so what I'm saying is, we give you tons of information, but at the end of the day, if this thing shows up at your house, or you drive it off our property, and it needs a AC compressor, or a window motor, or an injector, or whatever, you're buying it. We're not buying it, okay? You're on your own. That's why we need people who know diesel, who understand diesel. Um, if you don't, please ask people. If you are expecting to get a brand new vehicle that's not going to break ever, don't buy anything from us because we don't know that uh, about any vehicle we have. We just don't. Um, and people who tell you to are full of crap. Uh, let's see. So, basically, do your research. If you're worried about the EGR situation, which is the bugaboo on six O's, which is overrated by the way. Um, we do a complete bulletproof EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler, and IPR for 2400, only for our buyers, only at the time of sale. If you buy it, drive down the street and come back, we're gonna say 4,000 uh, because we're too busy to do it for anybody other than people who wanna buy a vehicle from us, okay? Um, and that price is ridiculously low if you research it. 
Um, anyway, uh, hell of a nice truck. Thank you for your time.